Hello everyone, and welcome back to Death Stranding. So, here we are. We're at the foot of the mountains. And it does look like there are strands coming down on the mountain. Which makes me think we're going to go up there someday. I'm kind of very curious about it. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we have a new mission. To go somewhere we've never been on a time limit. Fighting BTs and mules on the way. So... This should be a doozy. Let's listen to the Sam, briefing. The distro center north of Mountain Knot City has put in an urgent request. One of their staff is in critical condition following that accident I told you about. I don't know what kind of injuries he sustained, but they're asking us to deliver blood products. This is a life or death situation. Get the cargo there before it's too late. Alright, we'll, we'll give it a try. We're going somewhere new, a new distribution center. Now, it looks as though the road goes this way. Towards apparently some sort of facility right here. That's interesting looking. But, most people, it looks like there's lots of paths go through this little valley here, rather than going back down to the road. So... And this does look like a, a swamp or a marsh or something. But this is clearly BT territory. No, this is this is a mule territory. That's a mule camp right there. But it says we're going to have mules, slopes, rivers, and steep terrain. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's better than BTs. Remember, Sam. When the clock review your gear and bring only what you need to make it to your destination as fast as possible. I did make a non-lethal assault rifle, just in case. We do have our bullet gun first, but we don't know if there's gonna be more opposition than usual. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. We'll see. Time limit set. It says 40 minutes. We'll see. I'm not that concerned. Please repair me. Is that going to be up there the entire time? Wow. Talk about pressure. Bridges stuff expected to die in. Not not like whoa. Rock slides. Or whatever. Rock falls. Falling rocks! So far, it's not so bad. I expected more problems by now. I'm going to maintain some height. There's the facility. Yeah, what is that? No markers or anything on it. I can't help but think that they are intentionally saying you are on a time limit to make us go past that. Like, that seems the, the point of this mission. Is to... Not the slinger over there. I like trees. Like we haven't seen many much in the way of trees this entire time, and then we're finally starting to see a bunch of trees. There was some near uh, the wind farm, but other than that, like, it's been pretty barren. Okay, we're at the mule camp. Where are we going? Right past it. Like, I'm kind of inclined just to jet through it. Let's see if that works.
Oh dear, I'm getting shot. Ah! Go! What happened there? Back up! There you go. Up! Go! No! Just ignore our car. Just go on without it. Where am I going? There. Darn it. I knew I should have put some armor plates on. Eh. Sam, we're thinking you ran afoul of a local terrorist cell. <laughs> Former mules who took a turn for the worse. You don't say? Man, this is a whole new area we're gonna have to put roads down in. Now I should say that differently. It's a whole new area we get to put roads down in. But that was a lot of mules. Like, that was a lot of mules. That was a lot of mules. Well, I'm glad we brought that. I think that we would have had more trouble with uh, the bola. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to know. Maybe we'll have to experiment with multiple types. You know, I'm looking around, and I have this sudden urge to go back and play Kenshi. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm just getting that mood. That was a good game. The trouble is that I often felt like it wasn't very entertaining for anyone else to watch. Like, I sometimes worry about it in this game, because I spent a lot of time just going back and forth between different cities. But, in Kenshi, I would like, I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half, um, slowly creeping around the map. Building up our stealth skill or something. Look at that! That is quite a truck! You think at some point we're going to be able to drive something that big? Wow. 
Maybe when we get the um, the roads all the way built up, that would be like a way to. Mm, mm, that'd be quite a thing. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Don't worry about me, I'm a repatriate. I come back from the dead. Bit of damage. Yeah, we got shot a few times. Oh well. Wasn't an accident, by the way. It was an attack. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? Oh, I hope so. Give it a try. our way up to, to Montana. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to be going to Yosemite. If they make, like, make that a thing. That'd be cool. Sam, <sighs> with the help of the Cairo Network, We've recovered experimental data which should provide a boost to our ongoing research and development initiatives. As a matter of fact, we've already made one breakthrough that can be applied to our weapons programs. Hematic rounds, anti-BT ammunition that utilizes the unique properties of your own blood. However, it's important to remember that with each shot fired, you'll be expending a small quantity of your own blood. And depending on the situation, you may be better off switching back to conventional ammo. Further details can be found in the list of equipment available for fabrication. It definitely does seem like this game is turning towards something that's more shooty. And thus, you know, Euro truck sim. Too bad. I would like to get those roads built up, though. It worked? Oh, oh, that's great. We've been starving for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Yeah, we're not going to go straight on. We're going to build stuff or go back and do whatever. We're going to watch a cutscene. Yep, back on the beach.
Anomaly! Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead. The city's destroyed. And what's left is What a terrible the shame. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I think I want some new weapons for us. He's okay. You okay? All right. No figures on the table. They must have all moved over there by now. Yeah, another little truck. Yeah, we could travel with Fragile. I don't want it right now. Let's see what we have right here to do. Ooh. Back off. Back off. Did you just put that to me? He just put his gun up to the BB. The combat veteran. Hey Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It um it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these Separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original bridge baby experiments. PC 
piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything in lightning. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. That's really interesting. <laughs> that, um, well, that she was a vice president, apparently. I don't trust her. I think that she's a bad person. I think that... That... We keep on acting as if Sam's terrible because he doesn't, like, know his own mom. Or he doesn't want to help his own sister. But I think he knows that she's not legit. Something's going on there. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from oh the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Antimatter bomb delivery. All the way up to Mountain Knot City. Wow, okay, yeah, we're going up the mountain. It's just the... Well, we're going to a valley in the middle of the mountain, I suppose. It looked like it was really sheer. Uh from down there from this area it's just a solid mountain but on this side you can see this little valley no we're not gonna do it yet handle with care avoid impact no chiral density Gauges for use near incinerators. Sure, let's do this. We're gonna head back through the mule territory, and I want to clear that camp. I want to clear that mule camp. To that, well, given that, maybe I should go and clear the camp first before taking this. So yeah. That firearm can be loaded with hematic rounds. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Should improve your aim. I'm gonna go ahead, we'll grab a non-lethal assault. Rubber hematic round. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. don't need this we apparently got shot so much that we went through two blood bags last time so we'll need to make some more I 
I'll go ahead and make a couple of these. We'll try it. There's the blood bag. So we've got armor plates on both our limbs, both our arms. I've got an assault, I got two non lethal assault rifles. One BT capable, one not. This one has much more ammo, too. 30 of 120, 30 of 90. We'll try it. Like, I'm thinking, do I want to have one of those grenades that stops their vehicles from being able to go? I think we could probably get away without it. Have a pleasant journey. Do I want to... They're a trike or something? Oh, hey, here's a memory card. Anybody leave a trike around? No. Weapons restrictions lifted. But yeah, Amelie? She's totally something from the beach. She's like a super BT. And like, we were her passage back into the world or something. And now she's, I don't even know. Maybe she's trying to connect us all to, uh, so that she can bring down the entire nation at once or something. Because we're all connected. Because of all the Corellium density we're increasing by doing all this stuff. We're being used! It's all bad! Lots of pavers around here. I'm betting there's a straight road all the way up to the mountain, not city. I'm gonna go get a trike. I forgot we uh, we had to leave ours behind. Is there one I can just steal? No, this garage is empty. Okay. What am I doing here? Thank <laughs> you. 
This is not a zipline thing. I really need to figure out how those work. I just, I'm being lazy. That's a new thing, Novelist's Sun. Oh my goodness, there's a rainbow right here. New place, Novelist's Sun. We'll use the watchtower to get some scouting. Oh, the music was associated with the watchtower. I was thinking that I was like playing because we got to open ground or something. I do like how green it is, how nice and pleasant it is out here. There's the people, we can see them now. Interesting. You know, until we get overwhelmed... Until we get overwhelmed, I think I'm gonna go with the boulder gun. Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way. So far, this bullet still still seems to work pretty well. Oh, he knows where I am. Okay. Do need to kick them. It only lasts a minute, though. Uh, 
that went decently well. It's a bit harder. We're like taking a lot more damage than back when uh, we could just wait for them to run towards us and take them like that. But it's not that bad. some at the base. I should be wearing a mask or a helmet of some sort. I'm feeling a little exposed. That's my blood. Like it's a, it's a blood bag. But usually blood bags are special because they're mine. You know. There's gotta be a, uh, a memory card around here somewhere. Let's find a let's find a truck. There it is. Alright, we can get that in a moment. Let's find that truck first. That's the way. Where's all their trucks? Oh they all they all came out to find me on the way. Yeah, yeah. There's a truck. Here, let's go ahead to a paver and then we'll um, drop this off and then we'll come back and take, bring in a truck to haul off more stuff.
These trucks aren't as good as our trucks, I don't think. I think they don't, they can't carry as much stuff. Yeah, put that in the vehicle. We'll keep those on, sure. It doesn't matter. Well, no, putting them in the vehicle would make sense. Then we can carry more stuff on ourselves. We can just offload this. There. Let's go grab some more supplies. Come on. Joke's on you, there's nobody to respond. My goodness, this thing just crawls. It's gonna be worse. Once we, uh, once we load it up. Okay. Uh. What is that? The way station? Yeah, it's the way station. Eh. Uh. I didn't mean that one. Uh, what was that? Remote stun bomb drop. I'm gonna grab the chemicals. I'm not sure if we need them. I'm not sure how rare they are. I don't know the quantities of whether it's worthwhile or not, but better to have and not need. Makes me look really professional. Walking into things like that. Cannot use vehicle. Huh. Yeah, this would be easy for our our vehicle to handle. But apparently not for a mule vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, let's offload this. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right, time to move. We'll be back. We'll get some more stuff. But it seems like metal is going to be the limiting factor, not ceramics.
What? Get back up there. Oof. I am tired. I have work tomorrow. This sucks. Oh well. <laughs> Stretch my legs. Good enough. Thanks, BB. Oh, our battery's running out too. Where's the next one? There it is. On it. Pull up. Let's get going. Is there our next one? Somewhere out here? Yeah, there it is. Lots of little short segments. Actually, I have to, I have to admit, they feel less overwhelming than like the ones that say, I need 5,000 ceramic before I'll do anything. Bite-sized chunks feel a little more workable. There's another one right there. Wow. They're really placed close together. Oh, this one's got nothing. Then we're out of materials.
Well, after all that work, we did a grand total of zero road segments. Although, we are on the way to having three or four of them close to being done. Level three is recharged so fast. It's perfect. Kind of milestoney. 210,000 likes. Oh, this will be right at home in my collection. The great deliverer does it again. Much obliged. have a bit of a break Your work is great. take a shower relax a bit we're covered in blood because we got shot all that time Baby, baby, how you doing? Tired, huh? You sleepy. All right, go to bed. Go to bed. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do the same. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Good night. Till next time.